2019, Google Stadia developed a technology called GameBus. GameBus allows Stadia to distribute computing resources across their vast cloud servers while maintaining strong performance. Google needed us to demonstrate this complex new technology in a way that would be visually impactful and meaningful to end developers. As an added challenge, we were required to utilize Unity's new and unfinished PCS architecture. Despite these hurdles and a tight deadline, Hookbang was able to build a demonstration of GameBus in the form of an informative and entertaining AI soccer game. One of the core problems was, um, of course, the, the technology was still evolving as we were building the demo. So it wasn't a mature and robust um, um, technology platform that we were building on. It was, it was something that was very much um, taking shape as, as we were working on the project. So there was a little bit of uh, chicken and egg um, challenge going on there. One of the requirements of the project was that we use um, something called ECS. Uh, it's a new uh, technology that uh, Unity is developing for their next-gen um, engine. And it's something I think uh, very few of us on the team had any exposure to at all, um, if any, and uh, so it was a learning curve as the uh, project progressed. So um, we had to get our heads around that and then uh, and all the limitations, um, you know, it, it's a it's a high performance system. So naturally, there's going to be trade-offs, and one of the trade-offs in this case was uh, ease of use or ease of development. And so we had to um, uh, make some concessions in terms of our normal workflows to get the performance that we needed out of the project. We built a virtual simulation of what it would take to uh, create that networking environment where we had multiple machines running. So instead of having any kind of networking, we just kind of abandoned all hope of during that time space that we had of writing a networked app. And we ended up uh, creating, in uh, Unity's terminology, a separate world. So we had a world for each of the uh, worker machines. Um, and the master machine was in the default world that comes up when you start a, start a game. And so everything that we did that we wanted to move into those other um, instances had to go into those other, uh, other worlds. So we made a world for each of the machines that would potentially stand in for a Stadia instance in the, in the end. The premise of the game was that it was a basic soccer game, but then it was just like got super ridiculous. So like you could have up to I think it was a um, hundred teams with eleven players each. Like you could add obstacles, you could add bowls, and so the question became, well, how would normal soccer players like react to this? Because we had to develop AI for all of this. So instead of just having AI that has to consider like, all right, who do I need to pass to to most efficiently get the ball to the goal? It's, who do I need to pass to also avoiding the um, obstacles and running away from the bulls? And you're like, well, how would a normal person handle this? And it's like, okay, so it took some um, back and forth with the designers there on what the expected behavior even is, because what is the expected behavior there? One of the things that I did was I, I built a system that uh, would bake down to as few textures as possible and, and as few materials as possible um, to maximize performance. And the other thing I did was I built the system to use material property blocks so that we could use um, one material and change just the colors and not change the, the material itself. So we just change the colors and it looks like a whole new material because we've changed the colors. But uh, it's really the same material and so there was no performance penalty for that. And, uh, and that worked out really, really well for us. Once we uh, implemented the material property blocks, it was a dramatic increase in performance. Um, we had thousands of players on the field at one time, you know, we had it zoomed out so you could see everything and it was still running at a really good frame rate. And for me that was a good validation that the work I had done had paid dividends. What we did on this project was somewhat contrived. You would never really build a soccer game like that, where every, every soccer player could see everyone to infinity and build a, a case where it was so complex. We just, you wouldn't build a game that way. Um, but it was contrived that way so we could show the power of, of Game Bus. Um, but if you were going to take that same idea of connecting client machines together and, and building a bigger machine, you could still do that outside of Stadia and outside of 
Game Bus. You would, because really at the end of the day, what Game Bus gives you is the ability to attach machines together that are housed over in the Stadia world. Can you tell me what I wrote? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs>